Hello, you are listening to the Tiny Vet Podcast with me, Dr. Nicole Sue, exotics veterinarian, and my fiance. Me, I'm Jess Watts. He I'm ready to Watts. record. Don't believe in the Lord. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Already then. Yeah, I'm gonna do rhymes now at the start. Okay, of the is that is that the new thing we're doing yeah, now? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. is I do, I a little hook. Fantastic. <laughs> well, he's got a new little project now that is wonderful. This is definitely going to strengthen our relationship yeah, um, sure. in the long run. Absolutely. And today we're going to be... It's funny that that was your hook because today we're going to be talking about brachycephaly. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously that's relevant. Okay, he doesn't know what that means. Um, it, Nobody knows what that is. I, lots of people know what that means. Um, so that is um, our humans while playing God's so selective breeding ah. and breeding for animals with flat faces. Oh, that's... This is going to be a sad one, I guess. It's going to be a little <laughs> bit depressing. Um, but so brachycephaly just means that they've got a short face, so they don't have as long of a muzzle. Classically, right. everyone knows what a pug looks like. They are a very good example of a brachycephalic animal. Yeah, one of our rabbits has a very fat, fat yeah, face. Yeah, so we've got a lop rabbit. That's another really good of a good example of a brachycephalic animal. Mm-hmm. And um, Netherland dwarves. French bulldogs. Are you now, for the sources for this episode, going to just put photos of all the various animals? Actually, I've got amazing <laughs> sources. I've got amazing <laughs> references for this episode because there's been so much research on it in the uh-huh. past 10 years. Yep. Um, like, it's killer. <laughs> My reference section. <laughs> um, the other one, cats. So, exotic exotic long hair and short hair cats. Also, the flat face Persians. I think the... Flat face Persian feels like such a racial. It slur. does actually. I only just realised that. I I have a class. I had You're a class. Cancel calling people flat face Persians. Well, I had a class that actually is. But um, yeah. So this is becoming a huge problem because they're cute. Like we totally get it. They're quite appealing. Right. These guys, but the flat face comes with so many health problems i think the other I day think, yeah pug like uh, pugs oh, are like the so worst many health problems. example of that right? well now french bulldogs are really popular right um yeah, yeah. that was the breed of dog remember i was in that zoom meeting and uh-huh. i just like ranted and raved about pet insurance yes absolutely for like uh, 10 minutes and the person was just like if you don't oh have pet God. insurance and you have pets go get a pet insurance because otherwise nicole will yell at you <laughs> yeah well because she got she has a four-month-old french bulldog and she's going oh i'm just gonna wait a bit to get to get um whoever insured and i Mm. went no because then everything's gonna be a pre-existing condition right and they have so many conditions Mm -hmm. oh yeah they're super cute i totally get it um i I, I love squishy face lops Mm -hmm. like there's something in them that makes me want to rub them you call them squishy face yeah squishy face lops demonstrates that you're a big fan i think that's the problem is they're very appealing oh man they're so fucking cute this thing that can't breathe on its own Something in the human psyche, yeah. like loves a helpless yeah. being, you and know oh, what I and, mean? and part of it, um, they look, they do look neotenic. Uh, yeah, to find that, <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're permainently a, a child. So the big yeah, eyes, yeah, yeah, the yeah, round right. face, so the, it does Absolutely, trigger right? some Babies sort of. Are helpless. Yeah, so, so we and really like, love we're them. Like, you know, built to, mm. to treasure babies. Like, you know, the chubby cheeks. Oh, I love that. Right, you know, right, that kind right. of thing. Um, and, and like a lot of these flat face breeds, because they've been bred as pets, mm-hmm. they've got great personalities. They're really, really good pets. Right. Mm. Okay. So there are great reasons to like them, but there's also great reasons to go... Yeah, we should yeah like you don't need a like a brain. messed up face to have a good personality. Right? No, 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 you don't. But it does help if you have a good personality. It does. Help, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you have <laughs> a messed up why. face. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but the the health problems are. Uh, I think a lot of people are getting more informed about it. Right. Um. Like apparently, I am a lop, as I've been told. You. Oh yes, you are as a human being. Yeah, a lop. because yeah, I've yeah. got horrible we, sinus issues. I yeah, you have all the all health the problems yeah. of a lop rabbit for sure. Yeah, yeah, I've got. And you are roughly the size of a regular. I'm a very small dwarf lop rabbit. I'm, I'm yeah. a very small person. Yeah. And um, I, I do that like ear clearing thing and all the time sure. sniffly. Um, and that's something that does happen with lops as well. So lop rabbits, um, they have nasal, dental, and ear issues. They are notorious for ear issues now. So. I think half of my job involves diagnosing rabbits with kidney disease and the other half of my job diagnosing rabbits, lop rabbits, um, with ear infections. Yeah, right. And what is really stark about this is that up-eared rabbits don't get ear infections. Right. So the lop conformation actually makes the canal narrow and it pinches us off at so the So lop end. is floppy ears, right? Yeah, yeah, Ella. And Ella has, Ella's lop. So does, do lop... Rabbits exist through like uh, controlled breeding, like with you know pups yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so like up-eared rag- rabbits are more like 
uh, kind of closer to the wild genetic 100%. type? 100%. Yeah. Oh, and, so and we made, uh, we made rabbits, rabbits shitty as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's basically what the change is, is that the cartilage We're such a great species. We do oh, such we nice are. things for everyone else. <laughs> Lops are actually missing a bunch of their ear cartilages. Which right, so normally, that's what's making them yeah, floppy. Yeah, yeah, so then, so then they don't have enough like structural support. Yeah, so it yeah, just kind of okay. goes blip and it collapses in itself and it's a great place for bacteria to grow. Yeah, cool. Mm, so really, really common in lops. Um, we have to do big surgeries now on lops um, to cut away part of the ear canal to resolve mm-hmm. that conformational sure. defect. Um, helps a lot, but, you know, it's kind of like, oh, should we really be having these animals or we've got to do a surgery to make them, you know, functional for life oh, yeah it's not sure. fantastic um and in dogs there is a whole category of surgeries called brachycephalic obstructive airway surgeries mm-hmm. um and that's to do a bunch of things you know to widen their nostrils to cut away the excessive soft palate that kind of blocks their trachea once in a while and causes them to be yeah, able that to sounds breathe like an that should exist. yeah so there's a whole <laughs> range of these surgeries that are done all the time on these and the re- they qualify for them just because they've got that flat face um, mm. and they come with these bunch of issues. The other thing that comes with them as well is that they've got a lot of spinal deformities. Yeah, right. Like There's so many x-rays out there of French, French bulldogs and they've got these insane spines. Yep. Like they're missing vertebrae, they're missing half of vertebrae, they've got these crazy kinks in them and, and that all comes, you know, with with the breed right and the flat face thing so it's something where i mean we've got a brachycephalic animal uh but she was literally picked up off the street with a broken leg mm. and i'm not super against them but i i really do feel like we shouldn't be actively supporting you know breeding yeah i think like guys. if you have the option right like if you're looking at getting an animal <laughs> it's probably better yeah to get one that you don't have to like do surgery on so it can live yeah you know? and also like people will come up with a flat face and they go oh we, we, we're on a tight budget i'm like why <laughs> then why have you done this the tiny vet podcast is brought to you by upilio sources for our topics can be found at upilio.io outro music by matt charleston